right, so we got a firewood problem. Let's give you a little lesson on firewood. Out here in the valley, we have living green spruce. We have living birch trees. We had some fire killed rotten birch. And that makes terrible firewood. This was a standing dead birch tree. It's got so much moisture in it, even though it's been dead for 15, 20 years, uh, it doesn't want to burn for nothing. Neither does the spruce. So what we're looking for are fire killed spruce trees. They burn the best. Let's go find some. We'll take that one. It's a fire killed spruce, nice and dry. It'll burn like crazy. Go down low. You don't want to hit it. Oh, the sled. Make sticks out of it. All right, let's do it. I've always wanted to say this it's hammer time. <laughs> Probably getting close to the end of the day. We can keep working even though it's dark. Got a lot of light. Pile is always growing. And the creek is a glacier. Look at that. Wow, there's water. Interesting. You ready for a bucket? Yeah. This side. Too hot in here. Too hot? Yeah.
right, we're taking our final measurement for the day. Got a late start, so didn't get as much progress as we were hoping for, but we definitely made some progress. Got a hour and a half of digging in about, so just gonna take the measurement for today. Still the same material, angular gravel and muck. It's not really clean gravel, so I still don't think it's worth panning, but I think we're gonna make an effort and try to take a pan tomorrow anyway, just for the heck of it. Current measurement for Sunday, 50 inches. We were at 50 inches. Where were we at last weekend? I think like 43. 43, yeah. About 7 inches today then. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll get uh, quite a bit more digging in tomorrow. So we'll be here when the sun's coming up. So see you then. Good morning. It's Monday morning. We're playing hooky from work today. It's a beautiful morning out here. If you've ever been to Fairbanks, Alaska, and you've been at 40 below for two weeks on end, when it warms up to zero, it feels like t-shirt weather. And that's what it feels like for us today. Just gotta get a fire going in the shaft shack. We gotta warm up the generator. Um, gotta get firewood too, so gonna be busy before we can get digging. Gotta also get water, cause we plan on panning today, so we gotta get that heating up. But should have a productive day and it's nice out, so makes everything better. Yeah, indeed. better way of heating it up. It's been on there for about 30 minutes or so. The heat coming out of there. Little diesel pack in there. Nice and hot. We'll shut this guy down. Because I'm sure it's warm enough. Onboard battery. Let's get this cool down. A lot of guys, especially in Australia, are kind of building these, putting them in pelican cases and whatnot. They work pretty good. Uh, we decided to build one with an onboard battery so that it would work to our needs for doing this. So, you know, that's part of the deal. You're always taking other people's ideas and improving on them, modifying them, making it suit your needs. All right. Today on Will It Start? Almost. Let's get some choke. Ah, uh -uh. used it
move up north. Okay, move. in the shack we got the generator going jackhammer's probably warm managed to get some water on the stove this bucket close to the chimney is nice and hot this one I wouldn't even call it lukewarm uh, we're gonna try to get a sample out that we can pan we'll get the panning tub set up here and uh, hopefully we find something but I'm not so optimistic uh, this high up you can't expect to find too much gold you know it's, it's usually pretty deep so we're gonna get busy, see if we can find something. And if that works, we can get that there, we can hang it on the nail. So now, and we can always reposition this. This light is super bright. Well, hopefully it doesn't get in the way of the hammer. New and improved light setup. Right there, be light. This will make a huge difference. Okay, now we can see. Alright, water's warming up, it's getting pretty close. We're gonna go jackhammer a sample. We're gonna bring it in here, set up the panning station. We're gonna see if we can find something. Let's go. I think you can leave this in. Okay. What was that? Little rock hammer? Yep.
so the worst thing you can do when you're sampling is get a false positive. We gotta make sure that there is no gold in this pan. I mean, we use our pans for all kinds of stuff. A lot of times the last thing this pan did was have quite a bit of gold in it. If there's even one speck in here, it can throw off everything. So you gotta make sure that that pan is very, very clean. We'll put some water in here and we'll rinse it out. Okay, let's throw some rocks in it. A little bit steamy. So you can see some of the stuff is rocks. I mean, it's angular, it's real rocks. I've seen a couple of things that look kind of round, but you know, this stuff is all frozen and it, the jackhammer breaks it up however it wants to. So you're not going to know if it's a round rock or an angular rock until you thaw it out. So we got to get all this material to thaw out. And that looks pretty angular to me. And it's hot. Um, yeah. Actually, what the hell is that? Old beans. Yeah. yeah, that's all just angular. I don't see anything rounded in here at all. So this isn't gravel. This is still in the colluvial layer coming down off the hillside. See that nice schist. Still a bit of mud. But it's frozen. It's gonna take a while to thaw out. Yeah, there's one rounded rock. Look at that. Score. Partially rounded. It's interesting. Something. No, it's not gold. It's just... Maybe it's a little bit of a quartz vein. Hard to tell. Okay, so this is the nature of the material we're in. None of it's gravel. It's all angular. It's just chips of bedrock sliding off the mountainside, and there's generally not any gold coming down with that. So I don't think we're gonna find anything in this pan, but let's pan it down and see. Okay, let's get a little bit of clean water, see if there's anything in this. Not very 
Oh, yeah. Tip, 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 tip. More. More. Good. Okay, there's a pan. Let's see. Look at the old swirl. I see a little bit of black sand. But I don't see any gold. Hmm. No gold, no garnet. Okay, nothing. Right. Well, in the last shaft, we didn't hit gold till we were about 20 something feet deep. We might have a long ways to go. All right, well, we're finishing out Monday. Dominic's just finishing his drive in the hole. It looks like we're still in kind of colluvial material, a lot of angular stuff, nothing rounded. Uh, the colors haven't changed. You know, in plaster mining, we're always looking for layer changes. Uh, the colors uh, are defining flood events and things, and that's generally where the gold ends up. So that's what we're after, and we haven't seen it yet. So we're not there yet, but we got a pan thawing out just for fun. We're gonna take our end of the day measurement measure let's see what we got no cheating oh, <laughs> right about 63 inches oh, the lowest point here in the corner 63 yep okay 63 all right well about a foot today then huh yeah not bad. A little cold, but you know, it's been 10 below all day and we're still out here working. It doesn't feel that bad at 10 below. When you're down on the shaft, it's actually pretty toasty. Uh, and then the cabin or the shed here, it's really toasty, but it's doable. We're going to keep on going. All right, we're going to do a pan. Let's see. Final pan of the night. This is from 63 inches down. At our deepest, deepest point in the hole right now. So, see if we're going to go. It's getting pretty late. We got a long snow machine ride out of here, so we got to get this done and get moving. Okay, everything is definitely very angular, not very water worn at all. A couple of pieces of quartz. That's not necessarily an indicator that we're close to gold, so I'm just going to move this off to the side, I guess. Okay, let's see.
angular stuff. It doesn't want to leave the pan. Hmm. A little bit of heavies, just a little bit. There's like this fine black sand, but it's not really any accumulation of it. No garnets, and definitely no gold. So, we'll keep at it. 